here you go. Things that suck as a musician. So a few months back, uh, a few months, probably a few months, I replaced my beloved drum stool. Um, in fact, I got I got a new one. I still have the old one. It has a big rip on the top. I toured with it for, well, I did I did tours, local gigs, all sorts, practice at home, everything. All right. Was gutted when it when it got ripped. Uh, dropped a piece of hardware on it, and it you know says law. So I replaced my beloved stool because I thought it's time when I go gigging, it's, it'd be nice to not have one that I'm constantly worried about tearing and, and destroying and all that sort of stuff. Uh, first gig that I took the new stool out with me, um, I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to pick it up in this light. I uh, I left it out the back with, with some other stuff just on the side whilst, whilst you talk to people and thank people to come into the gig. and. Um, one of the other bands, uh, definitely wasn't anyone from my band because I was with them when we did uh, all of our loading on and loading off stage, all of that stuff. And I would have noticed on stage, um, yeah, I this happened. Uh, it's it's tiny, it's teeny tiny, so it's insignificant to anyone else but to me. Um, to me. Yeah, this happened. Now you can't quite see, um, but the top of my drum store, if I do it in the light like that, has uh, two sort of ripped holes in the top, um, almost as if they've been hit or punctured with something sharp. Um, and the one, this one, oh, you can kind of see there, you can't quite see, has sort of stress marks on one side as if it's been hit with force in direct in a certain direction now either someone in the other bands did it by accident or they did it on purpose the um the drummer after me did ask to borrow some some things that i said no to because there were breakables and things that I, i'm not really in a position to replace if they do get broken um so perhaps there was some malicious angry revenge that he decided to stab my drum stool or it could just be an accident and someone dropped a piece of equipment on it um, but this is one of those disappointing things that musicians have to deal with it's only a tiny little rip but it will eventually grow it has a you know a grown man's weight resting on it whilst I'm moving around and drumming so it will eventually give and rip and break um, which is the very thing this stool was designed well bought designed was bought to replace so the disappointments of local gigs when people don't really care and don't look after each other uh, where musicians don't look after each other because this was out of the public's way it was in the backstage kind of area um, yeah it was actually my gig with shoot the town in Birmingham um, yeah there's a video of that gig or parts of those gigs so you can kind of see me playing and, and a, a few little backstage bits in another video. Um, perhaps I should create links. Here you go. Here's the gig link. And here's the backstage link. And uh, yeah, you can see me before my, my mild but irritating disappointment of local gigs. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Um, the disappointments of uh, being a musician. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye.